Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Whelp and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. When we last left off, I kind of goofed and didn't open the solar panels on the twins. And we wound up running one out of power completely before it made its final destination. So in this episode, I'm actually going to correct that mistake. I loaded a previous save. And here we are. You can see the twins are still stuck together. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and resume this flight. And I'm going to go ahead and open two of the solar panels. One on either side of both of the actual satellites themselves. This is about the point where I disconnected them. And since I have the solar panels open, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this one. Go ahead and cross your fingers that it doesn't break. Decouple. Go. Switch to it. Get it stabilized. Now that it's, we have it free, we can open up the other solar panels. So that way it's got power. Get this puppy stabilized. And it's got plenty of fuel, so if I need to make adjustments to the height and everything to it, it's, it's there. And we can test, we can see that it's on a elliptical type orbit. It's not very perfect, but we don't really need it to be perfect because we want it to grab the signal from here and boost it to the moon because we're about to send something to the moon in a later episode that's going to save the three guys there. So let's head back and switch back to our guy over here. Since it actually is ready to go and the other one was the tw one of the twins is detached. We can now open the other two solar, pa solar panels. That way its energy is good. <laughs> that way we don't run out. So we're needing to go out to, we need to buff this out. Uh, let's see, so we're going to, we want to take our largest um, parakeet, I guess that's what it would be called. So I'm going to be burning at the paraaps. So add a maneuver here. And I want to just, uh, what do I have selected? What is targeted? Uh, unset that target. Okay, we don't want that. So we got to make sure that this is going out as far as we need it to, which it looks like it is. It's not on the proper rotation, but we can fix that later. It's Once we get out further, it's, not, it's easier to fix uh, going into the different planes. Uh, to switch it around. I mean, we could probably try to do it a little while we're here, but that's too far. So let's slow it down. There we go. I mean, it's 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 almost there. We could probably do normal anti-normal, but that's that just rotates it left and right. So we really don't need that too much. But we do need to level it out a little bit. It looks like it would work, so let's speed up just a little bit. Get it out to that point. That looks good. Looks good. So what's our burn? It's 363.6 meters per second. I think we have that. If not, we uh, we have this. We still have this large tank that we're lugging with us, and we're going to use all of its fuel before we disconnect from it. Uh, hopefully that. Yes. Okay. I want to make sure that our our things are not messed up and check your staging like Scott Manley says check your staging so let's get out there and we could fix our our uh, descending and uh, ascending nodes so we should be able to get that quite fast so let's make sure that we're not bumping into the other twin it's over there so we can speed up just a little bit. And it looks like we're getting further and further away, which is good, which is good. That's what we want. So let's speed up just a little bit, get closer to 
the firing point. Now, since we've reloaded this game where we quick saved, it doesn't know the estimated burn time because it doesn't know the kind of engine we have on it. But we can fix that by just popping it on and popping it right back off. That way it gets the ISP of the of the engine so that way it can tell me exactly how fast it's going to be compared to the engine's, you know, uh, what is it called? Propo uh, impulse. Yeah, specific impulse. So that's good. Alright, close enough. Let's get, let's turn this thing around to where it's facing the maneuver node. There we go. Awesome, awesome. So let's boost this up. It says it's, it's going to take about five seconds to burn this. So we will start burning around two seconds, three seconds. I don't think that number is correct. So we'll probably start burning closer to five seconds. So maybe four seconds, just, just to make sure that we don't miss this opportunity. And I'm thinking that we have plenty of fuel to make sure that we have what we need as far as um, getting it out to where it needs to be. So we don't have to really worry about fuel because I think this main stage here will get us there. It's just a matter of getting out there and getting circularized and maintaining the orbit according to the... Um, the mission, the contract we have. So we're getting close. Let's see, 15, we can wait, we can wait. Don't wanna, don't wanna force it, cause if you force it, you'll end up missing your opportunity. So I'm gonna start burning about four seconds. So three, two, one, burn. Oh, I gotta hold it, cause I, it, the, it's lopsided now. And getting close. Now cut. There we go. We went just a little bit too far. That's okay. We can slow it down. Actually, we probably need to slow it down now. Go really slow, slowing it down. All right. Really slow, really slow, really slow, really slow. And cut. A little bit more. Cut. I think we have a little small error of margin, so we want to make sure that we, we're, we're on the line though. That's, that's the main important thing. We're on that line. We're close enough to it. So now it's just a matter of getting out there. Speeding this up. This maneuver node is done. So I guess what we could do is while we're moving to the Apple apps, we can actually grab the Apple apps, make a maneuver, get this thing circularized out. Make sure that we're on the same ascending and descending nodes. Speed up just a little bit. This is 34,000, this is 32,000. So we want to use anti-normal. We'll slow down just a little bit and then use anti-normal and no normal to make sure that we are moved into the proper position. So this is 32,000. And this is 31,000. So it's really, really close. <clears throat> really, really close. And it's not going to take that much fuel, 230 meters per second. So that's not that bad. Not that bad at all. So what we're going to do is go back to, where is the twin? Where are you at, boy? Twin relay. Let's, uh, let's switch to it. To make sure its antenna is functioning properly. Let's go ahead and extend the antenna. Make it all nice and pretty looking. I don't have any science modules on this thing, so... But that's pretty much all I wanted to do is to make sure the antenna was extended. So that way when it does receive information, it can um, go ahead and transmit everything it does. Everything it has. So now that we've gotten that, we can switch back to the other twin. There we go. 
so now now that we can do that now we can complete our mission so let's head back let's warp to the maneuver node i'm actually going to use the in-game warp system warp here still gives us about a couple of days one day let's warp closer five hours we're getting really really close we're gonna get this mission done and and completed and we're gonna be very proud because this this so this uh, satellite is gonna allow us to speak to a bunch of places and we'll go ahead and cut the engines make sure we're on our mark there we are get a bit closer so the other one was 323 meters per second it was about a five second burn so this one's 230 so it's going to be lower than that <clears throat> at least i think so i'm going to start burning uh probably about four seconds again to make sure it's it's decent that way i have little little margins for error because i don't want to uh i don't want to go too fast but i don't want to go too slow either and if we need to make maneuver you know some maneuvers to to correct our mistakes we will be able to do so So we're 13 minutes out. Here we go. 10. Three minutes. Start slowing down. There we go. So like I said, I'm going to start burning about four seconds, which is in three, two, one. Burn. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And cut. Need a little bit more, a little bit more. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Maybe a little bit faster. And cut. Now, we need to check our... Oh my goodness, you know what I forgot to put on this thing? An accelerometer. Oh well, we're going to be sending another <laughs> another satellite up, it looks like. This one, uh, I have... We need a materials, but I need to... Remember, <laughs> remember to always check check your stuff. Well, now that we have that, we have two, <laughs> two more satellites in orbit. So, let's go ahead and... This one's got a little bit of fuel left. That's cool. So, let's go ahead and extend its antenna. We got our solar panels up and running. Alright, so let's head back to the Space Center. And correct my mistake. My mistake. But this time it doesn't need to be fancy. It can be just a straight. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load up the twins. But I'm going to take this. Uh, actually, I'm going to take this off. Um, take it off completely take this throw it away and then connect this here actually what I want to do is I'm going to grab this take it off grab that node I had to, to fiddle with it when I was making the twins to, to actually get it to where they weren't meshed together so I'm going to go ahead and replace that with another one and then get this there we go that's nice and neat now so this one it let me let me make double check okay we need reach destination the notes yes what does it say please note that this must be a new unmanned probe built by Stedler engineering corp after the con uh, contract is cons okay so we need to make sure that we have a Stedler engineering um unmanned set stated that's probodyne so it's got to be um 
built for Studler Engineering. Well, I guess it would, whatever we have will work. Let's take these these off and add more because they, they those were connected to something completely different. So let's get four of these guys connecting it to its uh, its fairing. I don't know why I keep losing the track of these names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. And we're going to have to get some science experiments going. It wants us to bring a materials bay. It wants us to bring an accelerometer. Which, wait, I'm going to make sure this is one materials bay, not four. There we go. And it wants us to bring an accelerometer. And why not? I'm actually going to throw this thing and have it a bunch of more other things of science just in case it says that we need do we get contracts for completing science experiments around carbon so we get a barometer and um, why not throw a mystery girl on there for for completion's sake now we can actually throw this on there and it looks good it still is still has held within our housing. We probably could edit the fairing to even be less. Let's go ahead and do this. Go up like this and top it off. See, that looks a lot better. That looks a whole lot better. And it'll fly a lot better too because we're not carrying all that weight up into space. So, there we go. That should work. We're going to save this as a science satellite. There we go. Save it. Double check. Okay. Unmanned probed and has an antenna and can generate power. So we have the power, we have the antenna. That's check. Let's see, this one is, that's the specific stuff. It, um, reach the designated orbit within with, within marginal deviation, which we, we got that. Have an accelerometer, check. Have a materials bay, check. And maintain stability for 10 seconds. Well, we need to get out there to do that. So, make sure this thing is all ready to go. And it looks like it is. Uh, probably... Nah, no, 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 I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fine. So let's double check, let's save this, and let's launch it. And that way I can correct the mistake that I made. And the cool part about this is I can actually go out, find out exactly how high we need this, and I could probably shoot straight for that height. So, three, 32 million? Okay. Let's set the throttle to full. Make sure we check our staging. All right. Three, two, one. Ignition. Here we go. This is awesome. Solid rocket boost. I love using solid rocket boosters. It's just sometimes you never find a place to put them on your ship that actually makes sense. So hopefully we'll get get up into space without any hitches. And I'm just going to leave it at this angle and wait till we get up super super high. Cuz our orbit's going to be way out there. Rocket boosters are about to go. Let go. There we go. And let's double check this. We could probably get it super, super high.
Let's make sure we pull up our thing here. It looks good. Getting up there, 7, 700,000. It's going to take a while, but I think we have the fuel. I think we have the fuel. And then we can circularize it once we get up to the certain height we need. One million. Let's, let's hit this. Let it go out further. Now granted, I may be doing this the wrong way. If there's a better way about it, let me know down in the comments below. I'd rather, I'd like to hear anything that I can, you know, any tips about Kerbal Space Program that anybody may have found out or learned. This is just the way I think things should be done, uh, but that doesn't mean they're necessarily correct. So keep an eye on this. Still got a long way to go. And 35 million. And it's way out there. How much fuel do we have left? Oh, yeah, we got plenty. So now that we're actually in space, we can go ahead and deploy the fairings. Go ahead and deploy our solar panels. That way we can don't make the same mistake twice. And we don't have to worry about our probodyne body dying. And we probably could uh, log seismic data. Yeah, no scans. Log pressure, no. Nothing of that sort, I take it. Log temperature. I think we've gotten all of this science, but it doesn't hurt to double check. So it's going to take about five days to get out there. So we can turn this on and actually probably slow this down. Go ahead and get out to the point. Add a maneuver and get this thing circularized. Oh boy. I want to anti-normal this. That way it, it moves it where we need to. And this is 32 million. Is there a way I can slice? No, I'll have to be at one of these ascending or descending nodes to slice it. Otherwise, it's not going to slice correctly. So this is at 35 million. So I probably have to wind up slowing down. But it says within devenal margins. So maybe we can get that completed. But it's not going to take that much to get into orbit, which is awesome considering we used a lot of fuel to get up to 35 million. And we need to hit this burn, <laughs> otherwise we're going to get an encounter with the moon. So let's get closer. It says it's going to take about 18 seconds for this burn to happen. So it's not going to take that much to do. So hit to this node, and then speed up time just a little bit. Still got about two hours before we have to hit the node itself, or start burning. Oops, slow, slow. Eighteen seconds, so I'll start burning at nine seconds. Which is in nine seconds. And go. And slow, 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 slow. Want to make sure we get this perfect. And cut. There we go. 
So now I know this is not going to activate this. Yeah. Nowhere near. Well, it's maintaining an orbit for 10 seconds, so but we're nowhere near this. So we need to get closer. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this at a descending node, which would be here at maneuver. And then I want to, nope, not that way. I want to make it tilt that way. And then I also want to slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit more. There we go. That looks good. Maybe could tap just a little bit of anti-normal in there. Or normal. Uh, and then slow down a little bit more. No, too slow. Remember to use your mouse wheel for smaller increments. If, if you have a, a lead finger like I do, that clicks and drags super fast. So that looks decent. It looks like it's on its mark. Okay. And this node is in 12 days. So we'll wait. I'm not going to sit there and speed up time for 12 days because that's just, it, it'll take, I could do things, other missions in 12 days time. Some missions only take like 30 minutes. So the best thing to do for me would probably be just to um, go back to base and do a couple of other things or that's I know what I'll do. I'll end the episode here and we'll finish up the flight of the science satellite in the next episode. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, see you later.